Welcome back to my channel. If you've been rocking with me so far, thank you. But if you're new around here, please don't be a stranger. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and let's try to get this subscriber base built up a little bit more. We're in the 30s and it's, uh, it's tough. It's a long road. Um, I, I really still enjoy it, so no big deal. Uh, this video was going to be a lot video, a lot video, a lot different from my normal video, a big departure. I was gonna do a sneaker event local to me in, in my home state. So we did go get on the road to go drive to it. Unfortunately, it was shut down before we even really got out of the car, apparently. They said that the event was supposed to start at one and then they said that it got shut down at about 1.10. So unfortunately, didn't get too much footage footage I did however try to get an interview with the organizer and if I'm not mistaken the manager in some capacity of the venue where the sneaker event was to be held the problem is I noticed and I've kind of been noticing more and more with a lot of these videos that when I talk or when I do my portion of the video whatever I do this kind of awkward thing where I try to make my voice sound like what I think TV sounds like a lot of these videos I don't really talk like that in real life so the way that I do the interview the way that I sound is kind of it's kind of cringe in a lot of ways it's not necessarily me to to a T like if you were having just a normal like passing conversation with me um, not I'll, I'm gonna show you guys all the footage of that so not to get too uh, drawn out on that I did however go swing by the outlets I was with my boy so we you know, we wanted to make the best of our little trip, so I picked up a few things from Tilly's. Um, I'll get into those real quick, and then I'll show you the kind of just nonsense or whatever kind of footage that we had from there. It's not too much, so this video won't be that long, but um, I hope you guys really enjoy the, uh, the enjoy the show. I mean, it's not, not much of a show, but let's go ahead and uh, let's get right into it. Yesterday. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit different of a video. I'm on the road right now. I'm not driving, thank God. I got my boy with me taking the uh, taking the bullet for the team. It's raining out here, so the driving is gonna be a little bit hectic and a lot worse, but hopefully that means that the show itself will be a little thinned out and we can really get a feel for all the tables and everything that everyone's got set up. Just looking to have a good time, maybe make some trades. We did bring some sneakers with us. Hopefully we can make something happen. I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a few minutes. I will give you some shots of this traffic, just so you know the struggle is so real out here. We might have to stop off, get a Red Bull, but uh, we're gonna have a good day, so stay tuned. A little later. All right, I don't know if this is it or not, but we are rolling up to rolling up to something, something in the works. Let's see what we got going on. Yo, what happened? It got shut down. What's here since six in the morning yesterday? Yeah, so what's good, man? This, this is my first time ever meeting you. We drove all the way up here from Tampa. It took us about an hour and a half, man. We caught you guys on Instagram, and then we heard it was going to be a fire event, man. What happened? Well, unfortunately, you know, with the crowd we had, you know, the plaza was pretty packed. There was no parking. So, you know, the other other businesses, you know, decided to call the property manager, complain about there being no parking for their guests, their clients, and they shut us down. How long, how long did it take you guys to get all this stuff organized with all the vendors and the people coming through and put the word out? The, the Honestly, I think we did this right after Celine, right after Orlando Sneaker Convention. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, it just happened so fast. And after we went to Sneaker Travelers, out there in Tampa, gave out the word, spread it, handed out flyers, did the groundwork. 
you know? Right. We booked. Sneaker travel is 50 plus big. vendors. So 50 plus so vendors got booked. Got set up, we started heating up here. 10 minutes into the event, boom, oh, shut us down. 10 minutes in. 10 minutes of the event. Everybody who bought vendor tables are getting refunded. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna shout shout anything out, your Instagram? I appreciate your, your location. Everybody who showed up, showing us love, we're gonna do something better for y'all. Way better, possibly bigger too as well. And stay tuned. Hey man, it's good to meet you and nothing else, man. I appreciate what you're trying to do. We'll see you guys, we'll see you guys again. Thank you. Yo, so we're back in the car. I think we're just gonna try to hit that outlet maybe. I can't even believe that just happened. We just drove for basically no reason. I mean, there was an attempt made, you know, a shot was taken, but uh, you know, the bitter sweet rejection. And uh, seems like there's still a lot of people kind of showing up and funneling into the show. I mean, they think it looks like people are rolling fashionably late and they're gonna be pretty disappointed. I mean, Shout out to the people who tried to set up the event, but unfortunately, like I said, a shot and a, and a miss. You got anything to add, Big Dog? That's pretty much it. Yeah? It's tough, man. Devastating. At least we got them tacos. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're going to hit this outlet, and then we'll see what's up. Maybe I'll give you, some guys, uh, give you guys some actual content of any kind other than this... Uh, Disappointment. Soon after. Yo, so I'm trying to be trying to be a little uh, low key in here, but me and my boy are arguing about these Mickey shirts, you know, because because we're in Orlando right now, and I think I think these can be pulled off, you know. I think you can throw some nice some nice. Okay, we're going on a journey. Let's see what you got. I think this I think this is the one, bro. What you don't you don't think? No, he doesn't think. I think. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. I, I swear I can do this. I might have to pick this up. I feel this in my loins. I feel it. Ugh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep shopping. We're messing around, we're killing time because we made that big drive. But uh, let's see let's see what Orlando has to offer. I'm not used to the mall vlog style kind of video. I tried, I tried to kind of here and there turn the camera on and see what was going on. To be honest though, there wasn't too much popping off at the outlet. I mean, we had a bit of fun in the H&M, kind of going back and forth about what t-shirt could potentially be the next move. I think, uh, you know, I think things can be done. That's me, I might be optimist. Um, Tilly's, however, we did pick up some shirts. Uh, my, my boy picked up a couple and I also picked up a couple. So I got a shirt, a maroon shirt. I didn't, I don't think I showed this on camera, but I've been actually eyeing this for a minute. And I got this to go with these PSG fours. So hopefully, this is actually the first time that I've messed it up. So hopefully that's close enough that I can kind of get away with that. I mean, I feel like it's close enough. By the time that you put that on your feet, I don't think anyone's gonna notice. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, so I got this shirt for these. I've honestly, I have been eyeing this shirt for a minute. I see it on, um, I see it on Amazon all the time. I don't know, it's like six or seven dollars more on Amazon, but I think someone's just flipping them, I guess. Um, so that's the first shirt that I got. And then the second shirt that I got is actually a shirt that I did get a little more into on the, on that clip there. I went ahead and picked up this Charlie Brown shirt right here. Now, I honestly don't know what the origin of this is, like where they mashed up Charlie Brown with the, I wanna say kanji or the J 
Japanese um, characters. But I just thought this this pink was just fire. I thought this shirt just hit. I mean, I don't know. This shirt just touched my soul a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up too. I really like it. Um, they had those kind of like a rust pink kind of, what's the name of those shoes? Um, the, you know, the Jordan 1s with the, the pink. And I think they're going to come out with a low top version of those same shoes. So hopefully I can cop those low tops, pair it with this shirt and, uh, you know, do the thing. Um, yeah, that's that's all I really picked up, those two shirts, and then there was a few things that I was eyeballing, but I mean, that's all I really picked up for myself. So we did have a good time, like I said, and um, yeah, we ended up just hanging out there, just chilling. Like I said, you know, we really wanted to make the best of it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the fam, followers, and the support, of course. Until next time, I think I'm gonna have some real, some real heavy hitters coming pretty soon. So hopefully I can make some things happen in the next week and a half or so, and I'll have some uh, good videos out to you guys pretty soon. Actually, while we're talking about it, I really want to give a huge thank you to everyone that's peeped that Freddy Krueger Air Max 95 video. That video has been getting a lot of hits and apparently people really like it because there's a lot of comments and a lot of engagement which makes me feel good about what I'm doing I mean it's always great to get the positive feedback the negative feedback actually helps too but uh, you know I like to keep it classy and I like to hear good things about myself like everyone else I feel so anyways not to hold you thank you again for watching happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this after Thanksgiving be safe and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.